Okay. Which of the following conditions is most likely is the most likely diagnosis? AIS, um, CAH, Kleinfelter, Meyer, Rakitansky, Kuster, Hauser syndrome, or Turner syndrome. A 16 year old fem phenotypically female patient presents for a routine checkup. She reports no menstrual periods and a lack of secondary sexual characteristics, such as breast development. A carrier type reveals a 46XY genotype. Um, pelvic ultrasound shows no uterus or ovaries, but reveals testes in the inguinal canal. Which of the following conditions is most likely um, the diagnosis here? So 46 um, XY. And so we have a phenotypically female patient who, like you said, um, has a lack of secondary characteristics. So that's going to be like hair, um, you know, stuff like that. And so uh, to me, this can't be Kleinfelter because there's no breast development. And plus that would be a 46 XXY. Um, Turner syndrome um, is going to be a short person who is going to, uh, to me, not look like this. Um, and so I would say no there. I'm leaning towards AIS. Um, just because of like what we said, it's almost like a supermodel. You have no hair. You're very maybe tall um, because you have an XY. Uh, and so that's kind of what I would go with. And they have the inability to reproduce. And so that's what I'm thinking here. I don't know what Mayor Rakitansky Kuster Hauserson. I've definitely heard of it, but I don't remember what it is. But I'm going to stick with AIS. Okay, so good. So AIS, right? So, you know, f um, genetically, right, male. XY, right, which is why testes undescended, right? Um, mm -hmm. And of course, like I said, right, she's still 16. But you know, later on in life, she can have, you know, breast development, things like that, right? But, but, you know, she's gonna be hairless, tall, etc. Right? Um, so yeah, definitely fits that AIN features, right? But congenital uh, adrenal hyperplasia, right? Um, ambiguous genitalia in females, but affected individual usually have 46 XX. So unlikely here, right? Kleinfelters, like you said, XXY, right? But they're going to be taller, right? Small testes, right? Reduced fertility, gynecomastia, things like that, right? And then um, this is has another name. Let me look it up for you. Um, I, I totally forgot. There's a there's a smaller name than this. Sometimes they mention this. I have heard of that too somewhere, um, the smaller name, and I knew it does, but I forgot. It is, um, what is it called again? Uh, what is it called? Uh, oh, Mullerian aplasia. That's the, well, that's the other name. Yes. Mullerian aplasia, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's the one that we commonly see, but those are the, obviously the doctors that came up with the syndrome or discovered the syndrome, right? But um, just kind of know this, sometimes they ask it, absence of uterus and the upper two thirds of the vagina, phenotypically, uh, female though, but obviously they had um, issues in their development, which is why they have kind of this blind pouch of a vagina is usually kind of how they say it. And then Turner's right is 45 X short web neck, um, gonado dysgenesis. Um, it's going to be female, of course, with just one X, but just kind of remember the clinical pictures of how they look, right? If you can think of that, they're very um, different from each other. You know what I mean? By yes. how they look. So if you kind of memorize it, it gets kind of difficult because they all start blending together, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 